Hey there, and welcome back. We're getting pretty serious today. We're gonna to talk about drinking alcohol on a ketogenic diet. First of all, you need to understand that alcohol does have calories. It contains about seven calories per gram. It really all depends on your overall goals. Drinking alcohol can indeed slow your weight loss, so you need to be conscious about your consumption in relation to your health. Another concern that you should be aware of is that many people have shown heightened levels of intoxication while drinking on a ketogenic diet and at a quicker rate than usual. It's important to know that alcohol dehydrates you too, so management of fluid and electrolytes is very important. First, let's talk about beer. Beer is made from cereal grains like wheat, corn, rice, and barley. During the fermentation process, yeast converts the sugars into ethanol. Most beers are very high in carbs, especially your popular craft beers. The highest carb containing beers are ciders, ales, shandies, stouts, and IPAs that contain between 10 to 30 carbs per serving. Your safest bet when it comes to beer would be a light version, which can contain as low as two to three grams per serving. The serving of beer is considered to be 12 ounces. Now let's talk about wine. Wine is made from fermented grapes. Yeast consumes the sugar in the grapes and converts it into ethanol. Most contain one to four grams of carbs per five ounce serving. Red wines contain about one to two grams of carbs from the skins and another zero to two grams from the residual sugars in the fruit. White wines are slightly less, ranging from zero to four grams. Remember that sweet dessert wines like port wine or wine coolers are not the same and can contain up to 15 carbs per glass. I really love getting wine from Seca Wine Club. This Palo 61 wine is organic, additive-free, sugar-free, 100% dry farm, contains no GMOs, no chemicals. It's organic and delicious. You can use code DRFIT for free shipping on your order. Remember that a serving of wine is considered to be five ounces. I'm watching you. Last, let's talk about hard alcohols. Hard alcohol is produced through the distillation of grains, fruits, and vegetables that have been fermented converting the glucose and the fructose into ethanol. Liquor like vodka, rum, gin, tequila, and whiskey that are unflavored and unsweetened actually have zero carbs. Where people run into trouble is with mixers and liqueurs. Things like flavored vodkas typically have added sugars and the labeling of alcohol doesn't make that super apparent, so please do your research. Liqueurs like Bailey's have 11 carbs, Kahlua has 22. A serving of liquor is typically a one and a half ounce shot. Mixers like sparkling water, diet soda, and other sugar-free beverages would be the most ideal for mixing. Your safest bet is on the rocks, but I prefer a club soda with a couple of fresh limes. Avoid fruit juices and syrups, and don't be fooled by things like agave nectar. Remember, there's over a hundred different names for the word sugar. Okay, so let's review. Alcohol can indeed be consumed on a ketogenic diet. Due to the oxidative priority though, ethyl alcohol has to be burned first by your body when consumed so that it can slow down your weight loss. You may have a lower tolerance when drinking, so keep yourself in check. Hunger levels may rise while drinking due to the lowering effect of your blood glucose. Alcohol is also a natural diuretic, so be careful to manage your hydration. And last, be careful about the hidden sugars. Cheers.